I want to make an illustration of exactly what we're using these brushes for. And when we're brushing, we're basically doing two things. We're removing surface wax and we're managing the film and polishing the surface. So uh, the first thing I want to do is do an illustration of dealing with the surface wax. This is map black on a Matsu's green base. And I'm using the black because it shows up against the green base so we can kind of see what's happening with the ski. Map black is notoriously difficult to, uh, to get off the ski. It's really tough graphite. So this will be a bit of a challenge and it'll show off the different brushes and, and how aggressive they are. First, we gotta scrape it. Scraping matte black is nobody's favorite thing. As you can see, even with a good sharp scraper, there's a lot of wax still on the surface of this ski. And so this is a pretty good challenge for the capacity of these brushes to deal with surface film. Oh, I'm gonna clean that up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is look at this white nylon brush. This is very fine bristles, like a tenth of a millimeter or something, and uh, quite short, only five millimeters long. The gold nylon is a little heavier bristles and a little longer, so heavier makes it more aggressive, longer makes it softer, it's just really different. Um, anyway, we'll do the white nylon first. Um, white nylon creates a little bit of dust, but makes very little difference to, to the staining of the base here. Um, and we might not get that all the way out, but we should move some more material than that. Uh, now we're going to look at the gold nylon. We might be moving a little more, but really not much. Neither one of these brushes are intended to move surface wax all that much. These are brushes to manage the surface films and to polish the waxes. And the base doesn't look nice and shiny, but uh, yeah, we're not moving a ton of wax here, particularly this super hard matte black. So let's look then at our steel brush. We've got to check our dimension, our direction. I keep saying dimension instead of direction. Yep. The steel brush is directional. All right. Uh, we'll do the unicorn brush first. The unicorn brush is supposed to be a little more uh, capable of moving material than the nylon brushes, but again, it's really targeting surface films and fairly rapid and efficient film reduction there. But we'll look at it on this matte black. Well, the Unicorn brush feels fairly soft. It moves considerably more material. Uh, this is really dark, this is a little less dark, and this is almost starting to clean up a little bit. But let's check the steel brush. You can tell as soon as you start working with it that this is what the steel brush is made for. It takes that surface wax down really aggressively. Like I said, with a matte black application, um, the heat actually combines the material with the base and you're never really gonna get it all out. To get it totally off the surface, you probably need to get into a glide cleaner to help soften that bond. Heat application makes the wax really, really tenacious. The surface films that we get from our fleece applied blocks and our liquid applications, they're way less tenacious. They last a good long time on the surface of the ski when we're skiing, but you'll see when it comes to film management and brushing, they're, they're less tough than this. At any rate, the, uh, the steel brush is really designed to help remove surface wax, and this illustration hopefully uh, demonstrates that. Okay, let's change skis here. This one, uh, the other ski in the pair here, is a um, about a three layer application of the Beta liquid. Um, and it's got a metal additive in it, which stains the base. Again, this is why we're using it, is to generate a good illustration. And here we're gonna see that these, uh, these brushes behave much more aggressively. It's really a lot easier to move this film than the others. Again, since it's on, we're gonna start with a steel brush. Now look, if you need to clean the base, if you need to zero it out and get all the way back down to the base, this thing will do it pretty rapidly, as I'll illustrate here. I hope you can see. OK, 
Okay, can we see this? The, uh, the steel brush really takes that surface film off rather rapidly and aggressively. So if you need to reset your ski or clean it to get started, that's a good idea. If you were to go back with the cleaner, you'll still pull some black off of this base because it's, um, there, there's still a, a thin film on there and a glide cleaner is a really good idea to utilize after this. Uh, let's look at the horsehair because the idea behind this unicorn hairbrush is to efficiently reduce the film without being hyper aggressive. This, this uh, steel brush is really going to strip it down. But here we go with the unicorn brush. Quite effective and quick at reducing that film. Um, this is a, uh, a warm, uh, beta warm wax, so it's not super, um, super hard or, or um, yeah, it's a soft wax. But we want to keep the wax from smearing. We don't want to make a big mess of of layered films. We just want to reduce it down and, and get down really rapidly. That was the design of this brush and it seems to be working really well as designed. Now we look at the nylon brushes. The gold brush, the intention here is really for polishing and moderate film management, not to, not to do too much crazy work. So, um, I don't know how much you can see, but it will reduce the film for sure. All of these brushes are going to reduce this film. Whoops. But hopefully you can see that there's, there's still some black left in this, whereas it's, it's really stripped off out on the ends. And I hope we can see enough down here to show off the white nylon. Now this is a little bit of a surprise because it's relatively short and fine. This gets into the structure very, very well. And it does move this material pretty quick. I really like this for polishing the block waxes, which take a little more film management. But this actually seems to reduce film just about as quickly as the gold brush and, and maybe a little more quickly in some cases. Overall, I prefer the gold brush because it does a better job polishing harder waxes and, and managing films. But this white nylon brush isn't a throwaway. Again, I really like it when we're working in particular with fleece applied blocks. When we are dealing with liquids, we're generally finishing with a fleece. This 20 millimeter fleece is uh, 22 millimeter actually is uh, designed to help us buff the liquids. And the reason we're not going crazy with brushing is we're trying to manage films, but also build them up. It's like applying kick wax. We want to be, um, we want to be building them, you know, two to three layers to good effect on the ski. And so when we're, when we're applying wax, this is that beta warm again. The reason we like the fleeces is that they buff and spread the wax really effectively. When we first apply this beta wax, uh, it doesn't look like much, just a, a little film of wax on the surface, but the fleece really helps to spread it. And, and in the case of the beta, it brings the, the color out as well. So you can, you can see it start to happen. And over a couple layers, you'll see that the density of that finish grows. And that's the film thickening and the, uh, the black metal additive in the wax spreading out and forming a, a complete surface. Uh, there we go. Okay, so Having just looked through all of this, let's talk once again about the purpose of these various brushes, what they were designed for and how they work. The metal brush, really rapid surface wax removal, uh, very aggressive reset for uh, surface films. If you're done with a day and you want to clean the base and get ready for um, an ironed wax application, that's a great brush. It works really, really quickly dealing with hard high melt point waxes, um, very efficient and effective. The uh, horsehair brush is meant to be a really rapid film reduction, kind of a reset during a day, but without really scouring the base down to nothing. Um, it's a relatively soft brush. It doesn't feel terribly aggressive, but it's efficient at reducing that film very rapidly. The nylon brushes are conceived as polishing brushes, 
And in general, we tend to pick these according to feel. For me, the gold brush is a more universal brush. It can be used to polish any iron paraffin, and it does a really nice job uh, helping to reduce the films mildly when we're talking about the block applications or liquid applications on the surface. It's not so aggressive that it strips them down to nothing, but it will reduce that film and get you uh, down to a manageable level. Sometimes you overbuild the films with multiple layers and it gets to be a problem. Um, and the white nylon brush is a little bit of an enigma. It's the least aggressive by far on iron paraffins and not very effective at all in that case. But because it's so fine and short, it actually does a fair amount on those, uh, those cold applications. The, the place I like that short white nylon brush is on the flea supplied blocks. It's a really great, super quick film reduction for a layer. Doesn't scour down all the way through and do a reset, but um, does kind of organize the film in a good way after a fleece application. All right, that's what we know.